support for java virtual threads kafka and rabbit mq hello everyone a very warm welcome to think constructive i am isha in this session i will be discussing some important features of spring boot 3.2 spring boot 3.2 is the latest version of spring boot and in this version so many important features are included in this session i'll be talking about some of the important features which i feel is very important for spring boot developers all right so let us quickly start with the first one that is support for apache pulsar apache pulsar is a cloud native distributed messaging and streaming platform so this provides all in one messaging and streaming libraries for application developers so it is very important and now in spring boot 3.2 direct support for apache pulsar is available I'll just quickly show you how can you include Apache Pulsar library. I'll switch to the browser window now. I'll look for a Spring Initializer because this is the best way to bootstrap your Spring Boot applications. So I'll select project as Maven, language as Java. The most stable version is 3.2.1 for Spring Boot as of now. All right. And here in packaging jar in Java version 21 is selected. I'll recommend all of you uh, start using Java 21 if you are planning to use Spring Boot 3.2. All right. So here in add dependencies, you can search for Pulsar and you can simply see Spring for Apache Pulsar. So this dependency is now available in Spring Initializer for Spring Boot 3.2. So this is how you can include this dependency and start using Apache Pulsar in your Spring Boot applications. All right. Next important feature is support for Java virtual threads. So in JDK 21, the full fledged support for virtual threads are available. So what are virtual threads? Virtual threads are lightweight threads that will dramatically reduce the efforts for writing, maintaining and observing high throughput concurrent applications. If your focus is to build high performing concurrent application, you can consider using Java virtual threads. And now in Spring Boot 3.2 Java virtual thread support is available. All you need to do, you need to choose JDK 21. That is where I said you should start using Java 21 and set the property spring.threads.virtual.enable to true. All right. So next important enhancement is SSL bundle support is now available for Kafka and Rabbit MQ. In general, Kafka and Rabbit MQ is already supported by Spring Boot and SSL support is there. But now the SSL bundle support is also there, which means Rabbit MQ and Kafka connections can now be configured to use SSL trust material from SSL bundle. All right. How? By setting this spring.kafka.ssl.bundle property or for rabbitmq spring.rabbitmq.ssl.bundle property. All right. Another key enhancement is logging improvement. So what do we mean by logging improvement here? So a Spring Boot application will by default will automatically start logging correlation IDs for micrometer tracing. And what will be the format for correlation ID? It will be in square brackets. You can see on the screen trace ID hyphen span ID. All right. So correlation IDs while logging are extremely important for debugging your applications and it makes developers life easy. So this is something which is really significant improvement in a Spring Boot 3.2. And just in case, although I will not recommend, but still for your application requirement for any reason, if you would like to disable it, then you can set this management.tracing.enable property to false. All right, by default, it is set to true. So let's move towards another feature, which is support for REST client. So REST client can be considered as an alternative to REST template. So if you don't want to use REST template, you can switch to REST client, which is now included in Spring Boot version 3.2. So it is an interface. And why is it included? It is included to support functional style blocking HTTP API. All right. Another improvement is JDPC client support is now available. So auto configuration for JDPC client has been added based on the presence of this particular parameter, which is named parameter JDPC template. These are some significant additions in Spring Boot 3.2, which I wanted to 
talk about and I know it's going to be extremely useful for Spring Boot application developers. There are many more features which have been added in Spring Boot 3.2. I'll quickly show you the wiki link for that. Feel free to explore that. So here is a wiki link for release notes of Spring Boot 3.2. So this is Spring Boot 3.2 release notes. You can see there are many more features available. Okay. So feel free to explore them. Let me know in the comment box below if you want me to talk about these features in more detail along with the detailed demonstration. All right. Thank you everyone for watching the session. I want to mention there are more and more Spring Boot Java microservices sessions available on this channel. Feel free to explore those sessions. If you like this session, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Please share the channel and session details with your friends, family and colleagues. Thank you once again. See you in the next session. Bye for now.